Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, January 13th to the 14th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Knight of Pentacles here. Please don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is in the description box below. All right, I'm going to get a channeled message from Spirit in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. We have the Magician. Magician. Temperance. That's funny that that came out. The Emperor. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see what Spirit has for you today, Cancer. Very sporadic energy within you spontaneous follow these spontaneous urges cancer you never know where they might lead if you overthink these spontaneous urges cancer you're not going to get the benefits the true benefits um, from what these urges have to offer. Just follow them. And enjoy the moment as you go along following these spontaneous urges that you will be receiving. There's a creative outlet here, Cancer, that you can tap into within these spontaneous urges that you will be receiving. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, see, Cancer. I was getting Sagittarius vibes with your energy. And um, not only do we have the temperance coming out, but that sort of that spontaneity is is very Sagittarian like um, so you may have Sagittarius in your chart for whoever um, tapping into here all right so let's see cancer cancer hmm you may feel like something slow to manifest okay but Trust that it is manifesting, Cancer, okay? It is manifesting. It could be money. It could be related to career, money. Some of you may be healing over an emperor. But we'll see. We'll see in a moment. Aries energy there. Okay, so what is this Knight of Pentacles about? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like this, there's a money situation that's slow moving. You feel a lack of four of Pentacles. So it's like, be careful of holding on too tight because it's going to slow up this manifestation. The manifestation is coming, Cancer. It's coming. So don't get all up in your head about it here with the Eight of Swords energy. Okay, this is a self-imposed prison of your own making. So set yourself free. Do, do yourself a favor here. Um, I feel like this spontaneity that's, that's coming towards you, that's going to help with this energy for sure. Tell me, and this is going to come out of the blue. They just said out of the blue. Death. Yeah, see, there's a transformation. 
there's an end to what I'm feeling is a loss of money situation of some sort. There's a transformation. It could involve work. Um, but it, it's like this money situation has been a burden to you. Yeah, Seven of Cups. So there's been a lot of confusion surrounding this. But stop worrying. Um, there's no need to worry, really. Tell me about this temperance card. Nine of Swords. And speaking of worry, okay, you're trying to find your balance here. You're trying to embrace the new, heal from the old I'm getting. Calling the angels here. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Um, you need to connect with your intuition because there's messages. Ten of Pentacles. Earth energy, but that's happiness. That's abundance. That's marriage and loyalty as well. Clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, there's passion here. It could be with somebody at a distance with the Eight of Wands. But there's very much happiness here. Who's this emperor, this Sag uh, Sagittarius? Oh my God, your energy is so similar to... Who is this emperor to Cancer? Who's this emperor to Cancer? Yeah, this is somebody that you're healing over. The Three of Swords. Princess of Swords. Yeah, see, there's a need for you to heal this feminine aspect of yourself here. The Four of Wands. This could have been a twin with the Four of Wands here. This has to do with stability as well. This may be why you're feeling unstable. This could have been a divorce with the Four of Wands here. And you feel like you're going to be losing money. Clarify the Four of Wands. The Princess of Wands. Yeah, the way to overcome this is exactly that, is to connect with that creative side of yourself, with that passionate side of yourself, okay? And move out of this. Okay, so let's see. Who is this person at a distance for Cancer? Let's see who this is, Cancer. Who is this? Who is this? The High Priestess. Well, well now. Gemini Pisces. For me as a reader, the Queen of Wands could be a fire energy or somebody with fire in their chart. We have the Three of Wands as well. Somebody at a distance. How do they feel about Cancer? Ace of Cups. They see you as new love. So this is somebody who's very passionate, very creative, very spontaneous. This may be where this energy is being picked up off of. Right? Because really, technically speaking, Cancer, there is no distance. But that's another story. So what is your advice for Cancer? Six of Swords, you need to move past turbulent waters to find peace. And that's that anxiety and fear, okay, that confusion. You have peace. It exists within you, okay? Pay attention to these spontaneous urges because it's going to lead you to a reconciliation of the soul. And that's where you're going to find peace and love. There you go. Two of Cups. Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. This is definitely a soulmate here. Wow. So they're wanting you to feel this energy within. So it's reflected back to you. I'm seeing a mirror in this. It's like I'm getting mirror from this right here. So feel this two of cups energy. Feel this peace. Feel this love. And it will be reflected back to you here. Seven of wands. Get to higher ground to view things from a different perspective, Cancer. This is going to help you. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we got? The honeybee. This is your advice. 
Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. So that may be um, so here, Cancer. All right. Forgive and heal for yourself. All right. You don't need the burden. That's the burden. Why are you carrying it? Doesn't belong to you. Let it go. All right, Cancer. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if there's um, anything that resonates in this reading for you. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the Dailies Cancer. Namaste.